As I've done in the past, I'm doing a, a Bible reading plan this year where I read through the Bible, Genesis through Revelation, straight through over the course of the year. Now, <laughs> true confession, I am uh, about 10 days behind. There have been just a, a number of mornings where uh, for whatever reason, I just wasn't able to do the whole reading. Now, regardless, I was in 2 Samuel 24 recently, and I came across that, that curious passage where we're told, again, the anger of the Lord burned against Israel, and he incited David against them, saying, go, take a census of Israel and Judah. Now, I say curious because in, in 1 Chronicles uh, 21.1, we read that Satan rose up against Israel and incited David to take a census of Israel. Now, you can figure that one out on your own. What, what interests me is the purpose of the census, which is related in 2 Samuel 24, uh, verse 2. So the king said to Joab and the army commanders with him, Go throughout the tribes of Israel from Dan to Beersheba and enroll the fighting men so that I may know how many there are. The census was primarily undertaken for military purpose. If you look at Numbers chapter, uh, chapter 1 verse 2, the Lord says, take a census of the whole Israelite community by their clans and families, and listing every man by name, one by one, you and Aaron are to account, excuse me, to count according to their divisions, all the men in Israel who were 20 years old or, or more and able to serve in the army. Now, it's, it's not that, that women and children don't matter, but the census was taken for military purpose. Now, what we come across in Revelation chapter 7 is strikingly similar to these. Thus, our, our background understanding of the Old Testament should prepare us for our interpretation. Now, let's pick up with, with verse 4. Then I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 from all the tribes of Israel. From the tribe of Judah, 12,000 were sealed. From the tribe of Reuben, 12,000. From the tribe of Gad, 12,000. From the tribe of Asher, 12,000. From the tribe of Naphtali, 12,000. From the tribe of Manasseh, 12,000. From the tribe of Simeon, 12,000. From the tribe of Levi, 12,000. From the tribe of Issachar, 12,000. From the tribe of Zebulun, 12,000. From the tribe of Joseph, 12,000. From the tribe of Benjamin, 12,000. Now, there are similarities uh, between this passage and, and those I've mentioned, but there are, of course, some differences between this list and what we've come across on the book of Numbers. And it's more than just the numbers. Now, first of all, the ordering is different. And Judah is listed first over Reuben, who was the firstborn. That shouldn't come as a surprise, given the identity of, of Jesus as the Lion of the tribe of Judah. What's a more surprising feature is, is the inversion of where several of the tribes descending from Leah and Rachel's handmaidens, Bila and Zilpah, traditionally less significant, are elevated over the more prestigious tribes. Now also, while, while Ephraim may, may be included within the mention of Joseph, it's not mentioned explicitly. The tribe of Dan is missing entirely. So when John hears 144,000 from all the tribes of Israel, it's not all the tribes of Israel, is it? And that question is curious, but it is, it is not the pressing question that plagues this passage. That question is, is more general. Who are these 144,000? Are they ethnic Israelites who have placed their faith in, in Christ during the tribulation? Well, that may be possible. There is a, a problem with that. Most of these tribes no longer exist as such. I mean, after the Assyrian exile, there is no identifiable tribe of Asher, Reuben, Simeon, Issachar. You get the idea? A ten of the twelve tribes are gone. And sure, God can figure out who's who. That's probably easier than bodily resurrection. But the issue uh, is is larger. The witness of the New Testament is one in which the boundaries between Jew and Gentile have been broken down, not further delineated and strengthened. 
After all, the celebration, the, the praise given to the lion who is the lamb is, is not what he's done for this tribe or that tribe, but for what he's done for every tribe. Remember the song? You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals because you were slain and with your blood you purchased for God persons from every tribe and language and people and nation. The focus of Revelation is not what God has done for the Gentiles over here, the Israelites over there. It's the acknowledgement and praise for what God is doing through the Lamb in and for all creation. And for more on that picture, you'll have to tune in next week. God bless.